welcome back to Cruising As Crew, my name is Lucy and it is not long until I join the Scarlet Lady which is nuts. So well I'm actually joining within like next week which is like really really bizarre. So I have started the packing process, obviously it's not in a case yet because I've still got a bit of time but yeah I just wanted to show you guys what I've got organised and um, what I've bought for this contract. Just go through that with you basically. I know a lot of you are joining a cruise ship or you've applied so this video will either be relevant to you now or it will be relevant to you in a few months. Um, so yeah and if you have any questions about anything I'm going to mention then please feel free to ask me in the comments. Yeah Instagram is just a bit of a no-go at the minute because you guys uh, are asking me questions on there which is absolutely fine and I want to answer your questions you know that's what I'm here for but there's just a lot. Anyway let's get into the video. So as you can see I, I like to be organised and all of these like drawer organisers are from Ikea. The reason they're good is because they weigh basically nothing and you can obviously undo the zip and they go down to nothing which means that they're really easy to pack. And you might be thinking well holy moly that is a lot of drawer organisers. It is a lot of drawer organisers so it's a little bit easier for me though because I have done two contracts on Virgin Voyages so I now know the cabin that I'm going to like I know how many drawers I'm gonna have I know how many shelves I know how much space there is in the wardrobe I understand that it is uh, a little bit more difficult if you have never been on the ship before but the general rule of thumb that I have found with most cruise ships is you will get two drawers and you'll get some wardrobe space. Now drawer organisers are only really necessary if you're a bit like me and you like things to be organised because you are going to have to put multiple things in one drawer. So, for example, this little organiser is going to have like all of my nail stuff in. In the same drawer, I can put my jewellery and sunglasses and stuff. And just keeps it all separate because, trust me, like when you are like rushing out the door because either you're going out in port or you need to go uh, to work or whatever, it, it just makes life a thousand times easier if you know where things are and you don't have to like rummage around in a drawer full of things and it's not separated so would definitely recommend taking drawer organizers you don't need to take as many as I'm taking even if you don't use them you will use them but your roommate can use them if you have too many you know what I mean like it's better to have them and not need them than to be like oh god I wish I'd have bought more or whatever and it's the same with coat hangers like you can't really take too many because if you don't use them you can give some to your roommate all right so I'm going to go through the things that I have bought for this contract all right so firstly we're going to go through like things for the cabin so I bought myself two fitted sheets these are these are just off Amazon and they're grey because I know that the virgin bedding is grey so I got them to match that. Um, yeah, so they are small singles. Most cruise ship or crew cabins are going to have small single bunk beds. You can obviously just take one but if you do just take one it means that you have to wash it and put it back on whereas like on virgin you get your cabin cleaned and sometimes the day that you get your cabin clean cleaned isn't the day that you're planning on doing laundry so I've just found it a lot easier if I have two and then it means I've got one to have on the bed and one to wash and I can just wash it when I want to I hope yeah I hope you get what I'm saying I haven't actually bought this this is my trusty shoe rack that hangs on the back of the door which as you guys know I have banged on about taking a shoe rack enough at this point. You should know that if you're going to take anything, take a shoe rack. Uh, because again, like the drawer organisers are great to go in the drawers to separate things. But if you have a shoe hanger, it means that all of the shoes can go on the back of the door rather than taking up space at the bottom of your wardrobe, which means you can put more drawer organisers at the bottom of your wardrobe and you basically have two more shelves. 
so you that's where you can keep your paperwork or you can keep skincare or underwear or whatever whatever you want so definitely 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 take a shoe rack i've got the hooks that go with the shoe rack to hang on the back of the door so this is something for virgin <laughs> this is virgin specific the crew cabins on virgin are jack and jill cabins so you have uh, two very small single cabins and then you have a bathroom in the middle that you both have access to virgin have installed a very very bizarre locking system it's not just i don't know why they didn't just put a normal lock on so you, it, when you go in you turn both locks and that no it's like an electronic locking system which to be honest is shit and i cannot tell you the amount of times i have got locked in the bathroom with no signal my neighbors knock next door so i've been trapped in the tiny bathroom for i think the, the maximum amount i was in there was an hour but an hour in that small of a space is uh, when you're in your towel isn't ideal so this is a door stop and you obviously you just put it on the door which means it can't close so whenever I go into the shower, just means I don't have to worry about getting locked in, basically. So there are two options. You can either take something like this to like hook onto your door, or you can get hold of some like masking tape when you're on board Virgin and basically mask masking tape the lock. Uh, like push the, I can't even think of the word, the mechanism in and just tape it so that when the door shuts, there's nothing to click in and then it won't lock. Um, this isn't ideal and obviously you do have to be able, you have to, have to trust your roommate not to walk in on you in the bathroom, which I don't think will be a problem. It's weird, it's really annoying. So take one of these or take a bit of masking tape, like strong masking tape. And then I have my fairy lights that I always use. So they are currently wrapped around a toilet roll <laughs> uh, thing just to keep them, just to keep them neat-ish. And then I think I've shown you guys, I basically wrap these fairy lights around the, the top of my cabin. And they just, they're just cute. Like it's just a bit of mood lighting. If I don't want the fluorescent light on in the morning, I can just turn my fairy lights on. And then in here I have got um, like magnets to hang my fairy lights and some pictures onto the wall. And I went to, where is it, Home Bargains the other day. I love Home Bargains. And I just got this. It isn't like the nicest thing, but it's just good to like keep my makeup brushes in. Yeah, but I mean, I've had many contracts where I just kept like my makeup brushes and stuff in this, but I think this is gonna be useful. Now, I was gonna order some magnetic hooks and a water bottle but went on amazon and the water bottle was like 15 pounds and the hooks were six pounds but then when i went to order it it shot up to 40 pounds because of like delivery costs and i was like i'm not paying that for a water bottle when i can go to wilkinson's and get one for six quid so i should have a water bottle and some magnetic hooks to show you in this video but they were just too expensive i was like i don't think so and then the other thing, again, I didn't buy these. It's a bit of, bit of a cop out really, but I didn't buy it because I had it. This is the laundry bag that I always take with me. Um, I wouldn't recommend taking a structured laundry bag. It just takes up too, too much room in your case and too much room in the cabin. So just something that is material. And then I also have these nets that you can put like underwear in and just delicate stuff so that the washing machine doesn't destroy them. <laughs> and also it just helps to keep all of your stuff together. Like it's happened before where I've done my laundry, you take your laundry out and you miss a sock or you miss a t-shirt and you leave it in there and it's gone forever. Whereas if obviously everything's in a net, you just get the net out and it lowers your chances of losing stuff, which is always good. What else have I bought? I've just bought essentials. So I will be going to America. Obviously I have my C1D visa, which enables me to sail in American waters. But if you join a ship in America, you will have to be granted with a 
it's called they call it an i-95 and don't ask me why but it's basically an american visa and you have to get this visa to be able to go uh, on, on and off the boat when it docks in port sometimes this can take up to two weeks to get which means that you will embark the ship and you won't actually be able to get off for like two weeks which hopefully isn't the case hopefully they get it done within a few days but some ships do it quicker than others and also a lot of the ports that I'm going to are Caribbean ports so one they're not going to have as many brand options and also they're going to be incredibly expensive like these Caribbean islands obviously everything's imported so just to buy I don't know a tube of Colgate toothpaste which would cost you a quid in England is going to cost like seven dollars so things that I am specific about like I have a certain moisturizer I like to use I have a certain toothpaste I like to use I buy spares while I'm at home and take them with me so it means I don't have to worry about buying them while I'm away or and also I'm actually going to save a bit of money because it's going to be cheaper to buy them in my home country than buy them in the Bahamas and also because of the itinerary that the ship is doing Miami is really the only port where we're going to be able to do some good shopping and it's embarkation day which means that we'll have like deliveries and different responsibilities so I don't know how often I'll, I'll be able to get off in Miami so I you just I don't know and no one knows when they're going on a ship so it's always better to be prepared and take everything that you think you might need than get there and be like oh if you have a specific deodorant you like to use if you have a specific foundation you like to use that you might not be able to get in the places that you're going to then take it with you okay so just a few things i am using you might not give a shit in which case you can fast forward but if you do here it is i'm an avid coconut oil user again in england this was two pound fifty in america and in europe coconut oil is ridiculous when i was on pino oceana i remember looking for uh, coconut oil one i couldn't find it anywhere and when i did find it for a tub like this it was thirty dollars so just a heads up like coconut oil seems to be quite expensive so if you can get it for a reasonable price where you're from then it's worth taking it with you i really like this moisturizer e45 it's not really available in america or i mean I, i'm sure it is but it's just a lot more difficult to find whereas in england it's in like every supermarket uh and then i've got enough conditioner to last me for about a month i will obviously be able to get more conditioner but again with getting my i-95 visa which could take up to two weeks and then not knowing like if I'm going to be allowed off in Miami to go shopping. I don't know how long it's going to be before I can get my hands on conditioner. They they will sell conditioner and like body wash and body lotion and all of these essentials in the crew shop on board and also the passenger shops on board. But the passenger shops are most likely only going to offer premium brands. So you might end up spending more money than you would like to because they don't have what you want on offer. And then in cruise shop, they're only going to have like maybe two or three brands that aren't that aren't that great. That like they they'll do if you're desperate, but I don't think anyone particularly cho like would choose the brands that are on offer in cruise shop. I'm taking some after sun because I'm going to the Caribbean, baby. Then I have deodorant. Okay, and then next up, I'm taking some cotton pads. Again, enough to last me for the first month. I might be able to get off after the first week of being on board, but you just don't know. So plan for the first month. I've got the toothpaste I like to use. I'm taking medication. So I'm taking a box of paracetamol, ibuprofen, because you just it's better to have it than to not have it ibuprofen and paracetamol you would be able to get at the medical center but if you get some pain that comes on and the medical center is closed it's like so it is always good to keep stuff in your cabin um i have got multivitamins i've got sanitary stuff that is going to last me for the next few months and yeah and that's it got my inhaler and any like medication that you think you will need while you are away so for example if you are on like the contraceptive pill you need to go to your doctor and say 
I'm going to be away for this many months. I need this many months worth of contraceptive pill. Obviously, you need to give your doctor enough time to get that organised for you. So you do need to do that in advance. You know, don't leave it like three days before you go and be like, I need six months of this medication because that's probably not how it works. And then what else? Okay, so in this one, I've got all like my, my face stuff, so face sun cream that I like to use. I'm taking a thing of micellar water. Obviously, this isn't going to last me my full contract, but it's enough to last me for the first month. That's right. I've got some cleanser. Um, so yeah, I've got the, the foundation that I like to use. All right, and then I have like bikinis over there. So I didn't really, I only took like two bikinis on my last contract because there wasn't that many beach days. Whereas on Scarlet, it's beach, 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 beach. So I'm taking five or six and then just some like caftani stuff. I've got my straighteners and my hair dryer and then I bought a new thing of dry shampoo and a new thing of hair bands because trust me hair bands absolutely will go missing hair clips all of that kind of stuff <laughs> but th this is basically how I like to organize it before I pack it I like to have everything in front of me I just find that this way I don't forget anything I'm quite lucky in that I have this alcove, I have the floor space. I understand that it's a little bit more difficult to do that if you don't have the floor space. But you don't have to do what I, I'm doing and lay it out days before. I mean, you can do this and pack it all in the same day. And also it helps with packing it because as you guys know, I always suggest to pack half and half just in case you lose a case, you know. Half your bikinis in one case, half your bikinis in the other case. I've also got, oh my God, I've also got all of my uniform. So this time I left, Virgin bought in a policy where you have to like take your uniform home with you and then bring it back with you. And I get why they did it, but look at this. This is heavy. This is heavy. I've got so much, so many like t-shirts and bits and bobs. So it's, um, yeah, so I've also got all my uniform, which you might need to take, and then shoes. So I'm going to take my Birkenstock flip-flops, which are incredible, dolly shoes, um, my, my white and orange night trainers are in the wash as we speak. And then I don't really know what else, I'm probably going to take a pair of heels, but which pair I don't know yet. And that is, that is it, I think. I really, I say this every contract, but... I really want to try and be under the weight limit this time. I've got 40 kilos and I'd really like if it was 30 because there's no excuse. Like on Valiant, I had to pack for cold weather and hot weather because we started in like England, Southampton, Amsterdam, Belgium, and then we went over to the Mediterranean for the summer. So I needed like coat, hat, gloves, and also bikinis, shorts, skirts. Whereas this time I'm like, I'm going to the Caribbean. I just need like warm clothes. But somehow I know that I'll be like 39.5 kilograms. I'll be like, because I do it every time, every time. I never am under the weight limit. So if you are packing, then have a think about what things you really like to use. Certain toothpaste, certain deodorant, certain makeup, skincare, whatever. And if you can afford it, I would buy a few and take them with you so that you don't have to worry about like changing brand because you can't buy the one that you always use. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you out. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And as I said, the next video is going to be me packing. Oh my God. Off we go again. Anyway, have a wonderful day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.